Hey Internet, this is Gunter with Mini Mishaps. It is gibberish day and 3D Monday, so we are going to be 3D printing some hieroglyphs, which I know are not gibberish, but uh, but I don't know how to read hieroglyphs, or at least I didn't know anything about that until today. Alright, so we are going to be 3D printing at the library these tiles. Um, I think it's a cartouche is the hanging um, symbology plaques. And we've got some interlocking really fun uh, modular files that we found uh, on Thingiverse for the hieroglyphics. So we're going to be going through each one and I'm going to be writing Gunter out in those symbols. So for most of the sounds and letters in Gunter there are multiple interpretations of which hieroglyph you might use. So I'll kind of explain sort of the reasoning uh, for each one. So the uh, first hieroglyph is uh, looks sort of like a fire in a bowl. Um, it could be an axe, it could be a, a fire in a cave, or, or um, a snake in a basket, it could be really anything. I, I again don't really know what each of the symbols necessarily is. Um, but it is for the hard, sonorized G, like Go and Gunter. Um, in that they would use the the sort of Z H um, or J instead of the J uh, like George G. Uh, so we've got our first symbol is is that fire or that axe. And then next up we have uh, so if you look up hieroglyphs, uh, you might find that the U is a bird. Um, but actually that would be a softer, shorter U, and so uh, we're going to add the feather on the front of it to make a singular symbol for the long OO sound. Um, the feather by itself uh, is, is sort of like, more of like an I sound, but when you combine the two, uh, then you get the long OO of Gunter. And I'm sorry, I don't know why the camera keeps sliding out on you guys there, but... Uh, so that's our second tile, and then next up we've got the, the squiggly river lines, I think it's a river, um, zigzag for the N sound, so we're, we made it halfway through, we're at Goon uh, so far, and these hang top to bottom, and there's end caps that we're going to print, uh, and at the end maybe paint it, but the... Uh, the whole thing is each one's about an inch wide, and so they're going to be um, scattered around uh, a map for uh, sort of a D&D treasure hunt that I'm going to send the adventurers on, so that'll be fun. So after the river and the end sound, uh, then we have sort of the half sunrise or half circle um, over the top crescent shape. And that, uh, that circle shape is going to be our T sound, um, and it's the hard T sound, so TH would have a different set of symbols, etc. And then the last, so hieroglyphs and this language, at least the keys and uh, descriptions that I could find don't have a schwa sound. Um, that they get rolled into the next set of letters. And so we're going to jump straight from the T to the ER of Gunter. And that ER, the ER, are both going to be rolled into one sound and one symbol, uh, which is sort of like uh, the, uh, the lying on his side eye of Sauron there. Um, it's, uh, it just looks like a sort of an unblinking eye symbol. And that, with the two end caps, is going to be Gunter in hieroglyphs. So I'm excited to put this out on the D&D map, and um, and hopefully you guys have a good gibberish day. And uh, 
yeah, tell me know in the comments if you want to see more of this sort of terrain or modular or anything to do with um, sort of Egyptian decor in the uh, in the videos. Let me know, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks, internet.